Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for joining. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about a restoration hardware dupe art piece that Tyler and I created together. All right, so we weren't gonna film this, but I feel like it's gonna end up being pretty cool. So we're going to <laughs> grab some of this because the uh, DIY home stuff gets real around here. Doing this the hard way. But it'll end up having some character, you know what I mean? This is my first time spackling. I'm not going to apologize for it. I'm sure <laughs> my technique is not what so it should be. We've deconstructed the bed for like the 20th time. We've been back and forth on what kind of bed frame we want. So we're researching that before we make that big investment. So the one that I've had forever, we've sanded it down, taken it apart, put it back together, <laughs> just trying to make it work. There were two really big headboard pieces right here that we didn't realize were a pretty big eyesore <laughs> in the end. Yeah. So you can see that right here. And um, now we're gonna take a different approach. Lindy wants to get rid of this rusted brown piece that we have mounted on the wall. Old shelving piece, like from, I don't know, I think it's like 50 years old. And my mom and I originally redid this for my like apartment years ago to be the actual headboard. And I loved it then and it fit my aesthetic then. Obviously it does not fit our aesthetic now. So I really prefer having minimal brown tones in our house. Like this is fine, like small pops. We have a few throughout, but like this is just too much. It needs to be muted. I know this now after staring at it for a while. It needs to just kind of blend in with the wall because I feel like it's fighting with all the other stuff. <sighs> Do you want to show all the products? Okay, yeah. Hold on. Had a brain fart. All right, the original way that we were going to do this didn't work, but we kind of had an idea that that's what was going to happen. But we were going to try it anyways, had some leftover spackle. And um, as you can see, we started this corner. It's not really grabbing the metal very well. So we've gone out and got some new product. So Tyler, can you come tell what products we use to get this final beautiful art piece? Yep. When we started, we had regular spackle that you use for just like filling nail holes and things like that. And then there's a bunch of little diamond shaped holes throughout the metal. So a lot of that was pushing and falling through the backside. So we went and bought some fiber tape So we rolled the fiber tape across in layers and then any parts that didn't really adhere to the metal, we used a little bit of Gorilla Glue, just like a clear Gorilla Glue and dabbed in some of the spots to make sure it was nice and secure. Once we finished that layering, we were able to put a layer of kills, all purpose, it's kills two. Once that was dry, some better spackle. It went on really well with a palette knife and we both put that together and covered that entire space. 
Once the spackling paste dried, we went back over it with another layer of the Kills 2 just to seal that off and uh, prep it for paint. Then we did this color. <laughs> Which before I get into the colors, little Home Depot hack, if you ask someone when they're gonna do it, I don't know what time of week they do or if it's once a month, they will set out recycled paint and you can get it for a fraction of the price. So typically a quart of the Bear Premium Plus is probably $14, $15 and I got it for $2. And one of the smaller versions, again, three or four, five dollars, got it for 50 cents. So we started out with a more oatmeal khaki color. This ended up being too dark, so luckily the shoelace color came in handy. Much lighter, we combined the two and it gave us the exact color that we wanted. We had wanted to copy our sheet color of, we have three different pillow colors. We wanted to do our center pillow color, which is probably a shade lighter than oatmeal. Thank God, hit the nail on the head. <laughs> At first it didn't seem like we were going to, so white and then that color. So we got it, thank goodness. Because the other, like this one was a little too khaki. Not that I don't love khaki, but it just was, I don't know, it stood out too much on the wall. So, well, we, were trying we got to get the perfect away from color, brown. thank God. Yeah, we were. And we had our tumbleweeds, <laughs> what's the word, hanging kind of like this on one side. We framed our bed with them much happier with that. They came from trips. We always pick up things from the land, like whether it's the beach or the mountains or the desert, we always bring something home from the actual land and try to incorporate it into our house. So you'll find a lot of those things, um, AKA really earthy. Yeah, which is why we tried to go ahead and do something to contrast all the earth tones that we have. The rusted brown was perfect, but it was almost too much. It kind of blended in yeah. and made, it was like brown, brown, brown. And so this really broke it up, kind of going more of a modern route. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to see more of us doing some fun house projects or projects in general, we will be doing plenty. We always find something to do. So let us know, say something in the comments below. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Thanks. See you.